Okay, so this week I'm doing something new. Earrings. Out of these hummingbird designs that I drew up. Not bad. They're a pretty good size. They're the biggest size I make. I think they're like three and a half inches long. Ooh. Well. Oh, well, they're closer to four. From end to end, but why? They're about three, about three and a half inches wide. So it'll be interesting to get these going. A different uh, take on what I'm doing besides the coin purses. So between the left and right, they're both the same. These are on the larger side. I do make a smaller one just for fun. And then I do make a smaller, smaller one. These are the ones that go in my coin purse. Because they fit. They fit around the borders and it works pretty well. Then these ones are just I make for fun just here and there, but for a really good custom order that needs a lot of detail and a lot of work, then I go for the big, bigger versions. Which maybe I should like sell these three versions on my, my Etsy account. I do sell like my circle graph patterns, but I don't have any right now on me that I can show. Well, other patterns. So I do my tulip patterns. These are the ones I just finished for another lady. Yeah, I keep a bunch of different patterns. So circle patterns are one of my favorite one I like to use. And that one, I want to count different sizes I use. Tulip ones, I do hand draw those ones a lot. These are the smaller versions and I do a bigger version, which I like because I can add more beads and a lot more detail. Obviously loads of flower. A lot of people like that just because... I don't know why. And then custom patterns that I just make for fun and people want me to do something different. So I normally just draw a few custom patterns out, but I do keep a lot of paper patterns laying around. Yeah, you see that in the background. Don't worry about that. I do have like a secret project coming up, but that's later in the works. But for now I have these two to do and Start to video this and show how the process is done for these earrings because they are going to be on these. Final post, you keep a bunch of them laying around. Boom. So, they'll be going on that. And we have some not so fancy edges, but just the round edges, like. Ooh. So. So you guys seen this on my other tutorial, but this is actually a smaller um, rope. It's like a two millimeter rope, or like a two mil. It's like a four millimeter rope. It's small, smaller than a paracord. So a paracord, pretty big. Compare that to this, yeah. I don't like that part. I want to take part to there and redo it and make something else out of it. But later projects, I'm getting sidetracked. So stay tuned and we will get started on these. In the next few days, I'll post videos, a video on it and show how it was done. 